Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and today we're showing you guys a theme review on a theme called Racy. You guys can go ahead and download in the description below, and uh, we'll get started. So, first thing we're gonna do is install the custom Explorer frame, which will give us the custom buttons here. So, go ahead and pin it there, and uh, open it on the other side. Go to Windows. Go to uh, System 32. So, just type in S. Now we need to know which either 64 bit or 32 bit. So go to your start orb right here and right click on the computer button. Right here it says 64 bit. So I will use X64. Or sorry, 64 bit. If it says uh, 30 or 32 bit, then you use 32 bit. Alright, so open up whatever one is yours. Then copy this file. And then find explore frame. Now, if you don't have not replaced Explorer Frame before, you might have some problems with permissions. Now, what I will do is I will put a file in the description below, which will allow you guys to download. And I, here, I'll, I'll actually show you guys. If let me see, using this program right here, which I'll have in the description below, you can actually go add and then type in any file that you want. So, um. Explore frame and then hit take control and now you have full control of it so just in case any problems with that you can do that all right anyway so once you've taken control of it or already have go to a name and just name it something else so name it dot backup or all right and then go uh, copy and paste this in All right, now we're done with that. So go back again, and we'll see what else we have to do. So also in here we have some icons. So if you so choose to install them or apply them, um, they have the apps icon, which is for Macs, obviously, but kind of useless. But um, they have different icons like the movie. They're actually pretty nice. I think they look they go well with the theme. So if you want to apply them, go ahead. Next thing we'll do is we're going to apply the orb, and applying the orb will also reset our explorer, which will apply our custom uh, buttons here. So go to normal taskbar which is the most uh, easiest I guess you could say. And let me f put a start button change in there for you guys. Start with that. Sorry, that's my external hard drive so it's just loading up a bit. Alright so also with the uh, theme in the orb section there. Okay, so now open up start orb changer. Open up the uh, program here. Hit the start over here and go to your thing here and go to uh, racy and go to orb. Oh, oh, go to orb and go to normal taskbar and bottom is most likely the one. So click open. Now you have the custom button right here. And you guys will see it also, it also has applied our custom buttons here. Last thing to do is obviously uh, drop the theme in. So go to theme, normal taskbar, uh, left and bottom, top and right. Left and bottom is most of you guys can do. Go over here and then uh, do the same thing with like this. Go to Windows, Resources, Themes, and copy these two, paste them in here. And then once you're done with that, you can exit out of both, go to personalize, and there's a race right there. Click on it. And we've now applied the theme. So that's the uh this is the theme right here, guys. So it's a white theme with a uh elegant blue here with a I like the but the back buttons, the back buttons go well. They have the custom buttons up here. They don't really change color though. You have to start over here. Overall, guys, it's a pretty cool theme. Now, there's one th more thing that com the theme comes with. It comes with a rain meter skin. So, if you, I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check out rain meter. Um, rain meter is the they say it's the best desktop, desktop customization tool. I kind of have to agree. Um, besides Windows 7 themes, that's the only program that really customizes your desktop. So, if you go to skins, you can go ahead and install a theme. 
and then it turned on and these are the two themes right these are the two things are coming that's it so it all comes with is these little uh weather and the time so I've customized those this is the time by default will automatically grab your system time but this one right here you will have to set up so if you don't have it come like this right away odds are you won't um, just unload any skin you have by right clicking on it and hitting unload skin then go to here right click the main menu button and go to themes and click or go to skins and then go to racy and then click clock and click clock and then go to racy and click weather and then click weather that will um, apply them both and that, that's them now to get the, the uh, time work or the uh, time the weather working correctly just right click on it and go to edit skin it's going to open with this big code now in order to get it to work you're going to have to use this website called weather.com I'll uh, have it in the description below and once you have gone there, just go to the city here and type in any any place you want. So, um, for example, I have typed in here New York. So now to get the code you need, go up to the taskbar or up to the um, title bar here and copy this right here. Copy the code from the dash to the the, the colon sign. Um, whatever country or whatever you live in is going to be between there, so between the colon and the dash. Normally, it's your sist your uh, country's like abbreviation and then a code. So just copy the whole code, and then when you're in the edit, go down to the variable section and under the URL, go past here, and where it says local dash, just replace it before the right there so just right around highlighted right before the question mark and after the that right there replace that so just delete this one and then hit exit and hit save I'm not going to go into obviously and then go over here and hit right click it and hit refresh skin it'll reload the data now you should have your correct weather so that's about it guys for this desktop video this is a pretty cool theme um, again Go ahead and check it out in the description below. It has all the files that you need to do all this. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Trip 07, and I'm signing off.